Hello, fourth grade. Today we will sketch a room from the inside and we are going to learn one point perspective. I'm going to use the paper horizontally. Let's write in the date and let's write one point perspective. When we draw in one point perspective, we want to be sure and keep our horizontal lines parallel to the edges of our paper, and our vertical lines are also going to be parallel to the edge of our paper. So our height will always be vertical, and our width will always be horizontal, but our depth is going to have angles. The first thing we will sketch is the back wall to our room. So I'm going to draw a rectangle where my horizontal lines run parallel to the edge of my paper and the vertical also is parallel to the edge of my paper. This represents the back wall to the room we will create in our drawing. And next, try to find the middle and make one point. All of our depth lines are going to converge in that one point, creating one point perspective. Now I'm going to draw a guideline from the corner out. So from, from this one point, try and draw a straight line that passes the corner and goes off the edge of your paper. And do that on all four points of the rectangle that you just drew. Now just like that we have a back wall and we have a floor and some side walls. I'll darken those in because these blue lines are just the guide. If I was using a pencil I could erase some of this. But please don't erase that one point. Again, this is now the floor, this is the wall on the right, the wall on the left, and this has become the ceiling inside of my room. Now it's time to draw in a door. Let's make the door on the right side of our paper with two vertical lines. The closer line is going to be longer, and the other side of the door, the far side of the door, is going to be a shorter line. This is where one point perspective starts to really make sense. From the one point to the top of the door, we're going to make a straight line. And now we know that the far side of our door needs to come all the way to that angle. This is going to create the illusion of depth. And also on our left side, let's put in a window. Vertical lines of my window are going to be parallel to the edge of my paper. Before I draw in the near side, I want the near side somewhere around here from my window, but I'm going to draw a parallel line, oops, I'm sorry, a diagonal line going to that one point. This is a sketch that I will erase. But now we have a window. See how the top of my window and the bottom are angled lines. Those are the depth lines. And also on the doorway, we have a vertical line. But the top of the door has an angle, and the angle is referring to my vanishing point. Now we are starting to see a room. For the next aspect of this drawing, we'll draw in some horizontal lines that represent the thickness of the window. 
So this is always horizontal, parallel to that paper. And also at the top, I'll draw a horizontal line. And at the bottom of my door, we'll give a little peekaboo horizontal line here. Oops. Don't want it to darken that. And from the vanishing point to this corner of my window, I'm going to have another angled line. And at the top, we'll have another angled line. The thickness of my wall is a vertical line that stays vertical, parallel to all the other vertical lines. And on the right side of my paper, On the right side, where my door is, let's put in some stairs. I didn't leave very much room for stairs, but I'm going to go vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. That's all I can fit in there. Many times when you do one-point perspective drawing, you will use a ruler to line up your corner with the vanishing point to draw diagonal lines referring to the vanishing point in exactly the right angle. So my ruler stays on my vanishing point and the long end of my ruler I'm moving to find the corners. So this little stairway is taking shape. This is the ceiling of my stairway hall there. And I will darken in the lines I need to keep. Let's see here if I was accurate. I hope you can start to see how we've created the illusion of an interior to a room with our vanishing point. From here, we can refine the drawing adding in, oh, I don't know, floorboards would be fun. I should have used a ruler in the first place. Lining up the ceiling. So I'm going to draw in some floorboards now. I'm going to keep referring to my vanishing point. Every depth line will be angled toward the vanishing point. And you want to draw something outside the window, or you could add in some lamps on the ceiling. Of course, the ones that are closest to us, in this case, they'll be toward the top of the paper. And I'm going to draw some ellipses. The largest is at the top of the paper, and a medium-sized one here, and a small ellipse toward the very top of the back. Could do a guideline here to help us. And this light, the largest light, will end up being the closest to me. Uh, I've got some lights down the room. I don't know what you might want to put on your back wall. But of course we can add some value.
has been how to draw a room in one point perspective.